Hello, and welcome to the Go Green Heating, AC, and Electric Company podcast, Green Air Waves. This is your trusted source for everything heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. We're excited to launch this series where we'll delve into everything from the fundamentals of HVAC maintenance to cutting-edge green technologies. Whether you're interested in enhancing your home's comfort, looking to reduce your energy bills, or simply curious about the mechanics of HVAC systems, you've found the right spot. In today's episode, we're going to break down the fundamental concepts of heating and cooling, setting the stage for a deeper exploration into this vital field. The concept of heat is integral to our daily lives, influencing everything from our personal comfort and food preparation to the weather around us. But what about cold? Cold is often perceived as merely the absence of heat. We commonly say things like, it is hot outside, or the coffee is hot, the ice cream is cold. However, a deeper understanding of what heat truly is and how heat energy is transferred between substances and within the molecules of a substance is essential. We use hot and cold as relative terms, but when precision is necessary, we often refer to temperature. For instance, when asked about the outdoor temperature, you might respond, it's 85 degrees outside. In our industry, precise temperature readings are crucial because our operational decisions hinge on these measurements. That's why using high-quality thermometers to obtain accurate readings is a must. Pressure is another critical concept. When we talk about atmospheric pressure, we're usually referring to weather conditions. But pressure also applies to the air in tires, and more technically, within the systems of air conditioning and refrigeration. For an HVACR technician, understanding system pressures is vital for evaluating and troubleshooting equipment. These pressures are measured using a device known as a refrigeration gauge manifold. As we discuss the HVACR industry, the terms heat, pressure, and temperature are almost always relevant, making a firm grasp of these concepts crucial. Each offers insights into how HVAC systems function and are interconnected in more ways than might initially appear. Temperature is often described in terms of heat intensity and should not be confused with the amount of heat or heat content. As a substance absorbs heat, its molecular motion increases, which in turn raises its temperature. Most people know the freezing point of water is 32 degrees Fahrenheit, and the boiling point is 212 degrees Fahrenheit. These points are marked on thermometers, which measure temperature. However, it's important to note that these temperatures are accurate under standard atmospheric conditions, which we define at sea level with a barometer reading of 29.92 inches of mercury. Understanding these standard conditions is essential as they are the benchmark for practical applications. Heat theory introduces us to fascinating concepts like the lowest attainable temperature, absolute zero, theoretically the point at which all molecular motion ceases and no heat is present. While absolute zero is theoretically 460 degrees Fahrenheit below zero, Scientists have come incredibly close to this point in lab conditions, reaching temperatures within a millionth of a degree of absolute zero. In terms of measurement systems, the Fahrenheit scale is part of the English system used primarily in the United States, while the Celsius scale is part of the metric system used by most other countries. Understanding both systems and how to convert between them is crucial for any HVAC professional, especially when working with international equipment or standards. Thermodynamics, the study of energy transformation, is central to understanding HVAC systems. The first law of thermodynamics, which states that energy cannot be created or destroyed but only changed from one form to another, underpins much of what we do. This law explains how we are not creating heat anew, but rather transferring and transforming it from other energy sources, such as gas and oil. For example, Consider the British Thermal Unit, BTU, which is a measure of heat content. This unit is fundamental for understanding how much heat energy a particular HVAC system can transfer within an hour. The practical application of this can be seen in the sizing of equipment. A home that loses heat quickly on a cold day might require a furnace with a higher BTU rating to maintain a comfortable temperature. Understanding the behavior of gases in response to changes in pressure and temperature is crucial for anyone working within the HVACR industry. 
This knowledge is foundational, dating back to several critical scientific discoveries over the centuries. A basic grasp of the gas laws developed during these discoveries will help elucidate how gases react and the relationships between pressure, temperature, and volume within various components of a refrigeration system. It is important to remember that when applying these gas laws in practical equations, absolute scales for pressure, PSIA, and temperature, Rankine or Kelvin, must be used. These scales start at zero, which is significant because zero represents the point at which molecular motion, and thus heat, commences. In the early 17th century, Robert Boyle, an Irish scientist, formulated what is now known as Boyle's Law. He observed that applying pressure to a confined volume of air decreases its volume and increases its pressure. Boyle's Law formally states that the volume of a gas varies inversely with its pressure, assuming temperature remains constant. For instance, imagine a cylinder with a movable piston. If the piston is pushed halfway down, the air pressure inside the cylinder doubles. However, this law is limited in practical scenarios because compressing a gas usually increases its temperature due to mechanical compression, and expanding a gas typically lowers its temperature. In the 19th century, French scientist Jacques Charles explored the effects of temperature on gases, leading to Charles' law. This law states that at constant pressure, the volume of a gas changes directly with its absolute temperature. Conversely, at constant volume, a gas's pressure changes directly with its absolute temperature. This can be simplified to, if a gas is heated and allowed to expand, its volume will increase directly in proportion to the temperature increase. If the gas is confined and heated, the pressure will increase accordingly. Jacques Charles' findings are integral to understanding HVAC dynamics and can be represented with two formulas. One for each part of the law, addressing the relationships between pressure and temperature, and volume and temperature, respectively. John Dalton, an English mathematician and scientist in the early 19th century, discovered that the atmosphere consists of various gases, each contributing to total pressure, an insight now known as Dalton's Law. It posits that the total pressure exerted by a mixture of gases is equal to the sum of the pressures that each would exert if it were alone. For example, in a container with both nitrogen and oxygen, the total pressure is the sum of the pressures each gas would exert independently. Understanding energy usage is also pivotal in our industry. Energy powers the motors in HVAC systems and heats our spaces through the combustion of fossil fuels like natural gas, oil, and coal. Essentially, the energy we use daily is converted from existing resources, primarily fossil fuels, which store solar energy absorbed by plants and animals over millennia. These resources are then converted into usable energy through processes such as combustion in furnaces or more complex mechanisms in power plants. The conservation of energy, a fundamental concept in physics, asserts that energy cannot be created or destroyed, only transformed from one form to another. This principle helps us track and account for energy usage across different systems. Temperature, often discussed in terms of heat intensity, does not measure the total amount of heat, which is a form of energy due to molecular motion. Heat, or thermal energy, will naturally flow from a warmer substance to a cooler one until thermal equilibrium is reached. This is observable in everyday phenomena, such as when a hot substance comes into contact with a cooler one and heat flows until both reach a similar temperature. By understanding these principles, HVAC technicians can better design, maintain, and troubleshoot systems, ensuring efficient operation and comfort in homes and buildings. This episode has laid the foundation for these concepts, and we will delve deeper into each topic in future discussions. Thank you for joining me on this journey into the basics of HVAC on green air waves. We hope this episode has provided you with a solid foundation on heating and cooling concepts, preparing you for more advanced discussions in future episodes. Don't forget to subscribe for more HVAC tips and tricks. If you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover, please leave a comment below or reach out directly. Visit us at gogreenheating.com or give us a call at 206-620-1600. Until next time, stay comfortable and eco-friendly. Thanks for listening.